This is the brand new Form Labs Form 2, and we're going to talk to some folks who built this amazing machine. I saw this thing as it, when it was a baby, and now you have the Form Labs 2. What, what's going on over here? This is our really our, our third generation 3D printer. We had the Form 1, Form 1 Plus, and now the Form 2. The build platform starts lowered down all the way into the tank and there's a layer of this liquid resin in the tank. And a laser comes in from the bottom and it scans across the, the bottom surface of the, the resin. And wherever it goes, it solidifies a layer of the resin. And it sticks to the build platform. And then you lift the build platform up one layer and you repeat that process layer by layer. And there's kind of two big differences when you look at the machine. It's the experience of using it, but more importantly, what you get out of it. Mm -hmm. And so, if you want, I can crack open the hood. We redesigned the optical engine. The laser's 50% more powerful. Now we had to make our own custom galvanometers, and galvanometers are the mirrors that move the laser. A lot of 3D printers that use resin, they'll have a projector. Now the problem is with the projector is you can only get really small parts. And like, we're literally talking like a DLP projector. Right, exactly. And what you're seeing right now is it's drawing the laser. The next thing you'll see is the tank will slide. That's because it's separating the part. And when you do that, that's the lowest force possible. It means that you can print really thick parts, you get really high detail. The big thing I think is there's a ton of technology that is really sophisticated, but we've tried to keep it really simple. So this is preform, and this is how you get your prints ready to print on the Form 2. One of the new features is a feature we call one-click print. So I can actually go and open a few files, and with one click, it will lay them out, put them on supports, orient them. So again, just trying to make it really easy for people who want to use the printer. When we built the Form 1, we were building really the simplest stereolithography machine you could build. We stripped it down to the most basic set of components, and part of that is we wanted uh, to really make the thing as simple as possible, and part of that was that was what we could build at the time with the resources that we had. Since then, we've shipped thousands of them, learned a lot from our customers, and now we have the resources to build really the desktop stereolithography machine that we wanted. So you went from the easiest to build with the most common parts to something that's a lot more complex, right? Yeah, a lot more complex, but actually easier to use. We think that uh, the Form 2 represents like a third generation of 3D printing, where in the beginning, um, since the 1980s when 3D printing was invented, people were building these industrial machines, really big, expensive things, hundreds of thousands of dollars that were used when somebody needed something that only 3D printing could, could give you. And then uh, around 2008 or so, people started to build these desktop machines, and uh, we got really excited about that and it was amazing to take the capabilities, some of the capabilities of these big machines and put them on the desktop. But most of the people using them were sort of either hobbyists or using it because they were excited about the technology and not yet getting a lot of value out of it. And so we think with the Form 2 we're entering sort of a third generation where we combined the capabilities of those industrial machines with the desktop machine. And yeah, you're something. actually able to make objects now, whereas before it was sort of, you're almost making models, I guess you could say. Right? Exactly. Interesting. All right, Max, thank you very much. This guy will be available in October. Your pre-orders are happening right now. I'm John Biggs from TechCrunch. Thanks for watching.